All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the video is Man Stuff. Uh, this is coming from uh, George Carlin. Let's check it out. Now, something a little more positive for you. All Don't right, want you to think the whole show is just negativity. This okay. is about a festival. This is my idea for one of those big outdoor summer festivals. This is called Slugfest. All right. Now, this is for men only. Here's what you do. You get about 100,000 of these fucking men. You know the ones I mean, these macho motherfuckers. Yeah, these strutting, preening, posturing, hairy, sweaty, alpha male jack-offs. The muscle assholes. You take about 100,000 of these disgusting pricks. And you Bro, <laughs> he just defined like, like the majority of like what... Like, for example, guys, if you listen to like their old The Red Pill ideology that floats around YouTube, guys... Um, you'll start to realize that the guys that that he right now is referring to is basically all of those men. Um, what they like, what their ideals would be. Listen, I am absolutely for getting in shape for the sole purpose of living longer, having more stamina, and just again being around long enough to see your kids grow up and go to, and graduate college. Right? Absolutely. That's my path currently. I, we, we're the goal is to lose weight. We are we have been pretty much losing weight for a while now. Uh, we're down about twenty pounds. Uh, you know, it's working a little bit. But either way, just because you get to a point of where you become somewhat aesthetically pleasing for the majority of the society, right? That doesn't mean that you need to spend all that time looking in the mirror. Of course, be happy about your achievements. Congratulations. You know. Just, Congratulate, literally, seriously. But, you know, hey, listen, just don't be the those alpha male type of, don't be that archetype. It's, I don't know, right? Throw them in a big dirt. You take about 100,000 of these disgusting pricks, and you throw them in a big dirt arena, big 25-acre dirt arena. Okay. And you just let them beat the shit out of each other. Right. For 24 hours nonstop, no food, no water, just whiskey and PCP. <laughs> <laughs> and you just let I kind of wonder what he would have thought of, uh, of of the Andrew guys. Um, like seriously, I wonder what he would have thought. Like um, in terms of of the Andrew, I don't think I've ever really given you my take, guys. Um, I don't really have a problem with it with him. Like with the overall ideology that he speaks, it can be a little toxic at times, though. It can. Um, but I'm all for someone becoming better. But I wouldn't say just be better so you can have a, a, a harem. You understand what I'm saying? Don't be better for that exact reason, right? I mean, obviously, you know, the more money you start to make and the more success you start to achieve, the more attention of the opposite gender you will absolutely bring, right? But. Uh, I can't find any any like real fault in like some of the logic, um, but it can be toxic at times, guys. And I'm sure anyone that that would have ever even heard of anything from the Andrew guys, you understand what I'm saying. It can be definitely toxic. I know he's going through something legally right now. Um, I don't know too much about that situation, so I'm not going to talk on that, right? But just from when he was for the most part taken over the internet, uh, yeah. There are some toxic aspects hidden in that logic, okay? Um, but all right, let's get it. Punch and pound and kick the shit out of each other until only one guy is left standing. Then you take that guy and you put him on a pedestal and you shoot him in the fucking head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's probably not the Then you put like the whole Andrew, thing on bro. TV. Budweiser would jump at that shit in half a minute. And guys would volunteer. Guys would line up. All you got to do is promise them a small appliance of some kind. <laughs> Men will do anything. Just give them something to plug in now, the wall. Makes a whirring noise. It's a little different now. Is it? Promise them definitely. Promise them like I don't know, guys. Just promise them something that can bring more attention to himself, and he'll probably take it seriously. Another male cliche. These guys who cut the sleeves off of their t-shirts so the rest of us can have an even more compelling experience of smelling their armpits. I say, hey, Bruno, shut it down, would you please? Oh, Bruno. You smell like an anchovy's cunt, okay? Yeah. Not good. Whoa. Whoa. How do you know, George? How do you know? <laughs> Not good, Bruno. Right. And definitely not for sharing. Okay. 
This is the same kind of guy that has that barbed wire tattoo that goes all the way around the bicep. Right. You've seen that, haven't you? That's just what I need. Some guy who hasn't been laid since the bicentennial <laughs> wants me to think he's a bad motherfucker right. because he's got a picture, a ha ha, a painting of some barbed wire on his eyes. Hey, Junior, come around when you have the real thing on there. I'll squeeze that shit on good and tight for you, okay? <laughs> no kidding. No kidding, this is the same kind of guy, if you, if you smashed him in the face eight or nine times with a big uh, chunk of concrete, wow, and then beat him over the head with a steel rod for an hour and a half, you know what? Oh, guys, this is going to go up uncensored, obviously. Well, not obviously, but um, we're going to, uh, I don't know, guys. I'm going to try to put it up uncensored, but we may have to actually end up censoring it, guys. We're going we're gonna to try it. He dropped like a fucking rock. <laughs> like a rock. Here's another guy thing that sucks. These t-shirts that say, lead, follower, get out of the way. You ever see that? This is more of that stupid Marine Corps bullshit. Oh, George. Obsolete male impulses from 100,000 years ago. Lead, follower, get out of the way. You know what I do when I see that shirt? I obstruct. <laughs> I stand right in the guy's path, force him to walk around me. He gets a little past me. I spin him around, kick him in the nuts, rip off the shirt, wipe it on my ass, and shove it down his fucking throat. Right. That's what I do when I see that shirt. Yeah. Hey, listen. That's all these Marines are looking for—a good time, bro. Relax. And speaking of tough guys, I'm getting a little tired of hearing that after six policemen get arrested for shoving a floor lamp up some black guy's ass and ripping his intestines out, the police department announces they're going to have sensitivity training. <laughs> oh, I say, no. hey, if you need guys, okay. So now. I think I know what he's talking about, but I cannot expand on it much at all because I was absolutely a child when this happened. I remember it was everywhere, and I definitely thought, well, I don't know. I guess I didn't think about it at all until now, but I definitely would have thought at least uh, there would have been some type of repercussions other than sensitivity training. Uh, <laughs> do a little better than that, all right? That's not enough. That's special training to be told not to jam a large cumbersome object up someone else's asshole maybe you're too fucked up to be on the police force in the first place maybe not I don't know no, you're right you're right yeah. that's right okay. Look, there's no excuse there could be no excuse given for that you know what they ought to do they ought to have two new requirements for being on the police intelligence and decency you never can tell. It might just work. It certainly hasn't been tried yet. Okay. No one should ever have any object placed inside their asshole that is larger than a fist and less loving than a dildo. Okay? <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. George, uh, the, the last part there just, you know. Threw me. Uh, <laughs> oh, how about you not do that? It sounds extremely painful. All right. That sounds like the most painful thing that could possibly happen to a human being. Okay. Um, I'm sure there are people that, that enjoy these type of things, whatever. You know, we're not trying to do this. I'm not trying to, to shame your, um, you know, your, your bedroom habits here, unless it has something to do with feet. All right. Um, because feet are nasty and you're probably nasty for liking them. Uh, if, that's your thing, all right? That's it. Everything else, I don't really care. Just feet. That's the line. The line is feet, bro, all right? All right, listen. You guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly. If you want, if you want to check out any more of his content, just uh, you know, let me know in the comments um, you know, what next from him we should be checking out, all right? That we have not already encountered, all right? And guys, to directly to George Carlin's estate, let me say this here. Um, this is a reaction, okay? Um, this pretty much falls under under fair use, guys, all right? Let's get it.